Hello YouTube and welcome back, this is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today as you can see we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and I'm just starting the A Woman's Lot DLC. So before we start talking about anything else, let's read what it says. It says, Teresa's story is now active. You can launch the quest line by talking to Teresa. You'll be led to her by... that icon. Teresa is now looking after a dog at Retain Mill. She's hoping you take it over because her uncle Miller Peshek doesn't like the animal. Go and see Teresa and offer help. A difficult fate awaits Johanka. To find out more, go and visit her at the Monastery Infirmary and look for that quest symbol. Well, so that seems pretty self-explanatory. And before I get right into that, because as you can see, I'm actually at the mill, so this will be pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to quick talk about something. I'm playing this game like I'm just starting this almost two days after release. It's because that's how much time it took me to download this, you know, uh, update for my game. And that would be because of my terrible, terrible internet. So as much as I really don't like asking for money on here... Hey, want to help me out? I've got several ways to do it, just in case you're one of those people that really wants to do it. And there are a few. Uh, I have three patrons on Patreon, and I'll pop them up on screen. And I already have two members on YouTube. As you can see, I have a join button, which is pretty rare for a channel as small as mine. So pretty cool there. So, you know, super convenient, $4.99 a month. You can join me right here on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Or you can pop on over to Patreon and support for as little as a dollar a month. But of course, much more if you want. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of my asking for money. So let's jump into gameplay. All right, now that I've shuffled some weapons and stuff around because I wasn't wearing an outfit that I wanted to wear for this, uh, I'm going to go find Teresa and get this party started. So let's go do that. There's nothing here. And there she blows. So let's talk. Look at you, lover boy. What actually happened to you in Scalips? I mean, during the attack and, well, you know. That's a long story. Not a very cheerful one. Are you sure you want to hear it now? I do. All right, then. It was a day like any other. Another ordinary day in my ordinary life. first light before the others I like those kind of mornings best when the first rays of sunshine quickly drive away the nighttime cold Hello, you. Come here. and the breeze carries the scent of dew-covered grass and the bloom of spring I wanted to get my chores done before the rest of the household was up. And this morning seemed made for that very purpose. Right, better get to work. I have to feed the hens, weed the garden, feed Tinker. I'd better get it all done before Papa is up. Sweet. Going back to the beginning. So who's this? Tinker. Uh, food. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Oh, I don't have any food. What a tease. Alright, what else do I have to do? Hopefully I'll find some food. I'll go to A first. I can't remember. It said weed the garden, I assume, so I'll just pick out the thistles. Oh, it's just weeds. Okay. Kind of fun to start back at the beginning, huh? Be such a noob again. Gotta be honest, though, it'd be even better if I could play this as Henry, you know. Not anything character-wise, just because I have him all the way leveled up, so... All I would have had to do is pick one of these, and it would have picked all of them. <coughs> wow. A lot of weeds. They must not do this very often. It's fun to see scallops not all torched. That's uh, pretty exciting. I can't wait. I'm, I'm hoping it'll have us doing a lot of exploration just like it was in the, in the actual game. 
Oh, I was like, am I done? Okay. I haven't eaten nothing but cabbage forever and ever. Looking how it should again. Tinker, go away. I gotta pick this last weed. There we go. Alright, let's see what else we can do. I have to go to B next. Wow. The sound of the flies by the dung heap is a little visceral. It says it wants me to do something here. What does it want me to do? Maybe it's in the shed? Hmm, I guess I don't know. I guess I'll go to C and B. Oh, you know what? I bet you that's that tinker thing. <coughs> Got me. I must bring Tinka a piece of meat. That'll be a nice treat. Look in the pantry. There we go. A uh, piece of meat. How very non-specific. Tinker, come here, girl. There he is. Come here, Tinker. Now I've got what food I've for, got you. for you. You'll love this. There we go. Sounds crunchy. Okay, fed Tinker. Now what else do I have to do? I'm guessing it's back in the house. Chicken feed. Okay, feed the chickens. That seems like a pretty important job. Feed chickens. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. Here, here you are, girls. Fill your beaks. Talk to your father. All right. Oh, wow, she flails her arms and she runs. <laughs> What's the matter with you today, girl? What do you need, Papa? Go up and see the blacksmith. He made some nails for me. Here's some coin. All right. Anything else while I'm at it? No. Unless you want to stop off at the market and buy some supplies. And before you go, wake Samuel. The boy's still lying in bed and won't stir. You ought to follow your example and Stebor's. You two don't have to be pushed to work. Well, at least he's still better than that good for nothing's Bishek. The lazy wretch. A helper like that isn't worth a damn. If it weren't for his father, God rest his soul, I'd have thrown him out on his ear long ago. Aye, he's an idler, that one. And he'd hardly give you the time of day, never mind a kind word. God will reward him in kind one day, mark my words. You could tell him to get his ass to work, too. Right, go for nails, send Samuel and Zabishek to work. If it's at all possible. Aye, just so. Oh, and Teresa, once you've done all your chores for the day, I have a little surprise for you. Really? Now you've got me curious, Pa. I'll be on my way then. Other than that sounding a little creepy, uh, we should be good to go. I wonder if the people I gotta wake up are here. They're probably upstairs. Well, there's one of them. It's not Zabishek. Must be Samuel. Sammy, get up. It's broad daylight, and the birds are singing. Yeah, yeah, I'm up, I'm up. Have a bite to eat before going to the mine. All right, Ma. You don't have to treat me like a child. Looks like it'll be nice today, eh? Hmm. I could go to the pond fishing. But you have to go to work. I know. But maybe I can slip off after lunch. There will be no slipping off. You know very well Namoy has been complaining about you. Oh, about dropping that pail on Tonda's head. It was an accident. Not the first accident you've had, though, was it? Well, there you go, then. If I leave early, nothing will happen to anyone. And you can cook the fish for lunch tomorrow. You silly sod. All you ever do at the pond is lie around. The only thing you'll catch is more trouble from the mine master when he finds out. Well, if you're not a child, 
You can sort it out yourself with Namoy. Don't I always? Alright, well I woke Samuel. He does seem like kind of a bum. Whoops. What, I have to learn how to heal again? Mm, I know all of this stuff. I've played a fair deal of KCD. Can't ride a dog. Give me a horse. Ah, can't ride a horse either. Oim. I think this is the secret escape route that Henry takes. So I'm gonna pop out, get Zabishek to go to work. Ah, oh, man, already failed an objective. So I guess that was down there. I wonder if this will let me right into the castle where Henry pops out from. It's a long way up. I hope they'll let me level everything up, like stamina and strength and all that sort of stuff. That way I'll be able to give a lot of time into this. Flail on the arms. Sweet! Nope. I was gonna say, let me in. Good morning. Father sent me to pick up nails, but there's no one at the fort. Aye, uh, sorry, lass. Martin had to go to the castle to talk to Sir Radzig. He's to forge a sword for his lordship. Oh, I see. And has he made the nails for Pa? I'm afraid he hasn't had time on account of that sword. But if you'll come tomorrow, he'll surely have them for you. I'll remind him this evening. All right, I'll stop by tomorrow. Do that, dear. Oh, and by the way, the girls were looking for you. Which girls? Bianca and Johanka. You should stop by and see them before you go home. You girls must be plotting something. What was it about? They didn't say, but it seemed important. Which probably means boys, I suppose, hey? There's no harm in that, is there, good wife? You were young yourself once and went dancing with boys. Oh, so I'm an old woman now, am I? Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm only teasing you, girl. Dancing is just what you young ones should be doing. Make the most of it while you can. Before you know it, your pa will find you a husband. And you'll have a pack of children to take care of. <laughs> Let's hope it's not too soon. Thanks for letting me know. I'll stop by tomorrow for those nails, then. Not at all. Oh, and another thing, Teresa. Have you seen Henry around anywhere? If he helped his father out more at the forge, there'd be no shortage of nails. I haven't seen him at all. No doubt he's at that swordplay with that so-called combat master again. If he could wield a hammer half as good as a wooden sword, there'd be no shortage of nails. Sweet combat master. Let's pop inside the house, see what's going on in here. I'm just super curious to see what all goes on. Private area, eh? Okay, 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 I'll leave. I don't want to get arrested as Teresa. They'd probably burn her at the stake for being a witch. I don't know, but that seems like something that they would do, doesn't it? Hopefully they'll let me fight, that'd be fun. Plus, I'll get to talk to Johanka, who is that chick at the, uh, she helps with the healing at the monastery in the game. And then there's Bianca, who is Henry's beloved. Could I have my dog sick one of these sheep? He's, like, herding them. God That's fun. Be with you, Henry. Mind you don't get hurt. Good day, Teresa. It's weird hearing Henry's voice from outside. I was say, let me get in there. I'm just training with a wooden sword for now. But one day, I'll forge myself a real weapon. Good to know, Henry. Why won't you let me talk to you? I guess I'm not supposed to. I guess I'm supposed to go talk to the girls first. Okay. She flails her arms so funny when she moves. Why did they have it animated like that? Like, look at her. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Okay, what do we got here? 
Scout's Tavern, of course. So we'll go talk to Bianca in here. Bianca, how come you're up so bright and early? Papa has me running around from dawn till dusk. You know how it is. Indeed I do. I'm glad you're here, Tess. You've got to help me with something. But first, can you go and see Henry for me? He's at the sheepfold by the stockade, as usual. I know, I saw him. Hi. He's getting ready for the life of a mighty warrior. Well, at least we know he'll be able to protect you from outlaws with wooden swords. <laughs> oh well, boys and their games. Listen, would you bring him a beer for me? But why don't you bring it yourself? If Pa saw me running after Henry, he'd tend my hide. But I can't leave him dry in this heat. All right, I'll bring the beer to him. Thanks. And don't forget to tell him it's from me. Everyone knows all the beer in Scallops is from you and your pa. <laughs> you know what I mean. And listen, Tess. Once you've given him the beer, come back to me again. Meanwhile, I'll make an excuse to pa. I need you to go somewhere with me. But I'll tell you all about it after. Run along before the beer gets warm. Oh, I'm totally taking credit for the beer. I'm gonna be that backstabbing Teresa that we all know and love with the flailing arms. <laughs> oh man, that is never gonna not be funny. But yeah, she, we all know what happens to Bianca. We don't need extra love from Henry, Henry for, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get that for Teresa if we can. I'm totally not gonna tell. <laughs> that was fun so far. I brought you a bear. I'd say you'd need it after a hard battle. Ah, uh, great. It's as hot as Pa's Forge out here today. That's very sweet of you to get me a beer. Well, <laughs> I saw you hopping around here in this heat, and I figured you'd work up quite a thirst. Ah, you're right there. Thanks. That's very kind of you. I'll, uh, I'll have to pay you back somehow. I'll look forward to it. How come you're training on your own today? You're usually here with that vagabond. What's his name? Vanyek. And he's not a vagabond. He's a wayfaring combat master. Well, it looks like he's off wayfaring somewhere else today. Yeah. <laughs> More likely sleeping off last night's boozing. Actually, since I've no opponent today, wouldn't you like to have a go? I mean, a bit of swordplay. I could teach you. Me? Swordplay? Sure. Why not? All right, then. I accept your challenge, young sir. But I must warn you, I can swat a mouse with a broom with my eyes closed. Yeah, I knew you had the heart of a warrior. Let's go, then. Sweet. Hope it lets me kick his butt. Come on, then. Show me what you're made of. Whoever is the first to hit the other ten times is the victor. What if I hurt you, though? Ah, don't worry. I can handle it. Ah, it won't let me block. I guess I'm just gonna have to ma- Ah! Oh boy, she runs out of stamina quick. I'm gonna have to stay back. I'm gonna try quick jabs. They take less stamina. Oh boy, gonna have to learn all the new combo- All the combos with her. Hope it lets me. Be a gentleman, Henry. Let me hit you with the stick. Then again, his stamina should be pretty low with- Oh, did I win? <laughs> Don't go easy on me, huh? Ah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, really? Now that is hardly chivalrous behavior. Now, I shall have to fight for my honor. Take that, you scoundrel! Oh. Are you all right? Nothing, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Are you mad at me? No, of course not. It's my own stupid fault. Well, that'll teach you to go around slapping decent, God-fearing girls on the backside. <laughs> 
Let me have a look at it. No, no, it's only a scratch and a couple of splinters. And I didn't mean to, you know. Show me that. No, really, it's nothing. You know how it is, Hal. He who lives by the sword. Dies by the splinter, eh? <laughs> <laughs> There now. <laughs> By the way, you owe Bianca for that beer. Well, then she goes and ruins my ruse at the end by telling him that it was from Bianca. Ah, Teresa. <laughs> no one can lie to you. They're afraid of getting hit by your patented running tornado attack. Uh, I like how uh, awkward that got after she hit him with the sword. Oh, uh, that was hard. Here we go. God's blessings. What else was it you wanted from me? You brought that beer to Henry, then? I did. Uh-huh. And what did he say? He had no one to train with, so we had a bit of sword play together. <laughs> you playing with swords? Yes, and as it happens, I did quite well. Actually, a bit too well. I hit Henry on the hand and wounded him. Really, Tess? I never knew you were such a warrior girl. He had it coming, the donkey. Maybe it'll dampen his enthusiasm for adventure. All right, but now I can tell you what I wanted. Fancy a walk in the woods? Right now? You want to court me in the shade of the pines? <laughs> no. I need to pick herbs for distilling schnapps. Henry's favorite. What herbs do you need? I've got almost everything, except belladonna. I know a clearing where the best plants grow. Belladonna? But that's deadly poison. It is, if you don't know what you're doing. But don't worry, I haven't poisoned anyone yet. Henry's favorite, I see. Yes, I'd like to give it to him tomorrow. I might have known it'd be about Henry again. Well, you know how it is, Tess. Don't worry. You'll find a fella one day. That's easy to say when you work in a tavern where there are fellas swarming around you all day. All I see at the mill are sacks of flour. What about Zbyshek? Zbyshek? I'd rather settle for a sack of flour. Hmm, I suppose. Your pa would never let Zbyshek have you anyway. Not long ago, when he had a few too many, I heard him say how he was going to get you the richest husband for miles around. Oh, pa. I hope that was just the beer talking. Why don't you go and pick it yourself? Pa won't let me go on my own. They say a wolf was seen in the woods recently. A wolf? Hereabouts? So they say. But it was old Blaha who claimed to see it, and he's never sober. Still, I wouldn't want to go there alone. Couldn't your brother go with you? Adam? He'd shit himself if he saw a wolf. And besides... Someone has to take care of the tavern, but he could lend us his bow. Good thinking, Tess. Uh, thanks? So, you're going to borrow a bow from Adam, and then you want me to go with you to pick Belladonna in the woods? Actually, it's not entirely that simple. Adam won't lend me his bow. The last time he did, I broke the string. You'll have to get it from him. Anyway... I don't know how to shoot, but Stibor taught you, didn't he? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. It doesn't matter. If the wolf sees a bow, he won't come near us. So will you go and ask Adam? You know he's always liked you. Just give him a wink and the bow is yours. You might be able to do that with Henry, but me? Well, come now. You're as pretty as any lass in the province. And once you've got the bow, meet me on the bridge by the lake, all right? 
All right, I'll help you. But next time I want something from you, I don't want to hear any excuses about how you have to see Henry. Deal. You're an angel, Tess. All right. We got to go go get up. Who's this? Oh, it's Deutsch. And Adam. And Innkeeper. Oh, Adam. <laughs> I need to talk to him. How are you? I heard you're a really good archer. And that you've even got your own bow. Huh? Yeah. I've got a bow. I made it myself. And I can hit the tree behind the tavern at 20 paces. Good heavens. That's amazing. Um... Would you lend me your bow for a while? Lend my bow? To a girl? Well... I don't know, Teresa. Hmm. Well, I think this one's the highest for me, so I'm gonna do this one. Hey, Adam. If you lend me your bow, I'll dance with you at the next celebration. Oh? You would? Really? All right. Here's the bow, then. And some arrows. Take it all. Thank you so much, Adam. Hmm. So that's how powerful you are as a woman. Feels good. Me and good. Teresa are going to pick herbs. Adam, keep an eye on things here while I'm gone. Yeah, you can talk to sure. Deutsch. I'm going to talk to him. Let's see what he says to a girl. Before the place fills up in the How are you? What news, neighbor? News? Have you not heard, girl? The empire is falling asunder under the hands of the king. How do you mean? King Sigismund of Hungary besieged Puttenberg, and quite rightly too, in my opinion, because King Wenceslas' rule is no rule at all. I am not the only one who would rather see his brother Sigismund on the throne. But Wenceslas is still our rightful king. We can't just change our loyalty to someone else. But who is to bring order if the king cannot do it? Good man, Deutsch. You ought to watch what you say. So Radzig is the king's hetman, and he could take you to task for such seditious talk. Good day to you. She took the more direct approach than Henry did. She straight up called him out. Henry was like, hey, let's throw Hoopa to the house. Let's see what there is. I think... Here, let me check. Quest log. Okay, so... Ordinary routine. Find out what Johanka wants from you. Cry wolf. Okay, I, I'm gonna go... I gotta go to C to find out what Johanka wants from me. I don't want to miss any content, considering this is the last DLC they're releasing. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, certain uh, how long I'm gonna make this first video, but we'll, we'll see how things go. That Crying Wolf mission sounds fun. I think I'm gonna see what Johanka wants and, like, take it from there. God save you, Tess. Oh, thank you. Can't take it easy on the running. I gotta level up Teresa's stamina. All that stealth and archery stuff is gonna take its toll. What is this? What is this? There we go. So Yo Johanka lives over here. This is all inter- Is this her? Look at that. It is. There we go. Had to let the textures pop in. Johanka, what's up? I was asking around for you. There's something we have to talk about. Are you going to the dance this evening? I'd like to go and have a look, if I have time for it. Why? Do you want to borrow my dress? No, no. Nothing like that. I've got a dress, but... I don't want to end up dancing on my own, if you know what I mean. Sorry, I don't. I want to go with Matthias. So, what's the problem? Just go and tell him. You've had your eye on him since the Harvest Festival. Surely you must have noticed by now. He hasn't. I'm at a loss what to do. So you'd like Matthias to take you to the dance, but you don't want to tell him? That's right. How in heaven's name do you want to do it then? Easy. You're going to steal his lucky dice. What? How is that supposed to help, for Christ's sake? If you can get your hands on it without him noticing, 
He'll be looking everywhere for it. He'll be wandering around saying to himself, Where did I put that damned dice? And then, I'll turn up. God be with you, Matthias. You didn't by any chance lose your dice. And he'll say, Aye, Johanka, I did. Where on earth did you find it? Oh, I found it near the tavern. You know there's going to be a dance there this evening. And then he'll finally get the message. Oh, the dance. Yes. Johanka, wouldn't you like to go with me? Of course. I'd love to go with you, Matthias. Thank you for asking. Then he'll take me by the hand and he'll look... <clears throat> Never mind that. Um... Well, that's how it's going to help, more or less. You painted a very pretty picture, no doubt. But do you think it'll really work? I'm absolutely sure it will. All right, then. I'll help you. Thank you, Tess. Bring the dice to me as soon as you have it. Hang on, though. How am I supposed to find it? He was saying at the tavern yesterday that he keeps it in his trunk when he's not going to play. Go and see Fritz first. I heard he's always got some lockpicks, whatever he wants them for. Anyway, no doubt he can show you how to use one. Me? Pick locks? Yo, Honka, aren't you going a bit too far? Well, then... Maybe you can get hold of his key somehow. But whatever you do, don't get caught. And not a word to Matthias, for the love of God. Alright. Well, we gotta do that, because... Because otherwise, you know, how are we gonna be able to lockpick? So let's uh, see what the quest log says. Alright, so I can see to it that Matthias invites Johanka to the dance. So I could bring Matthias as lucky die, or get Fritz. I'm gonna go to C, get Fritz to tell me about lockpicking, which is apparently this way. So, this will be interesting. Let's, uh, I don't want to do the whole walking thing, so we'll pick it up there. Look, it's my good buddy Fritz. Greetings. Listen, Fritz, I hear you know something about opening locks without a key. Sure. All you have to do is charge at the door. Shoulder first. I don't want to break down a door. I want to pick a lock. Ah, you want a lock pick then? Shh, not so loud. Well, I can give you some. But you know what they say. Not even a pig grunts for free. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Who says that? Ah, uh, mostly me. And no one thinks it's fucking clever. So bugger off. See if I can outsmart him. That shouldn't be too hard with him. Hey, Fritz. How about giving me a couple of lock picks for free, eh? After all, we've known each other since we were little. All right. But just this time. If you break them, don't expect to get more for free. Just two? You said a couple, didn't you? All right, let's see if he'll teach me how to pick locks, because I definitely need to know that. Will you teach me how to pick a lock? Sure. For a few groschen... Mm, I guess I'll offer him that many. It's easy as fuck, unless you're all thumbs. Listen, you've got to find a spot where the lock catches and press on it. And only then can you turn it. Nice and light, though. No jerky movements. Like when you're caressing a girl's... Uh, that is... Uh... I get it. Thanks. Sweet. Unlocked lock picking. All right, let's try lock picking. It's a good thing I'm basically an expert. I think he saw me. You've got no business here. Do you hear me? Don't think I won't call the cat call. <laughs> he spotted me, but hopefully he didn't spot me lock picking. I'm gonna wash myself. What the hell was that? Nothing to see here. Let's see if I can distract him, get him to run away. Hey, hey. Greetings. Tell me, Matthias, 
What do you think of Johanka? Johanka? Yeah, she's a nice girl. She helped the lads and me out of a few scrapes. Actually, she's always been good to us. Why do you ask? Hmm. What should I do? I don't think I should threaten him. Hmm. I'm gonna try this. a very nice girl, all right. Haven't you noticed maybe she's nice to you more than the others? Me? How do you mean? She's shy. You know how it is. You mean she likes me? Supposing you were to ask her to the dance this evening. Really? Do you think she'd go with me? Well, I suppose I could, but wait though. Maybe I should have a bit of a wash first. What do you think? Don't beat around the bush. Just go and ask her. There's nothing to it. Oh, all right. I'll try it. Go invite her so I can steal your dice. I think I should still do that. Teresa? What are you playing? Oh. Alright, I guess I'll just go tell her. God save you, Tess. Ah, thank you. God save you as well, person I don't know. God bless. What can I help you with? About Matthias. Yes? Tell me everything. I had a chat with Matthias and told him everything. What? Oh my god! You traitor! But he said he'd be happy to dance with you. I can't believe you'd... Wait, what did you say? I said he'd be very happy to dance with you. Just like that? What more do you want, an offer of marriage? He'll come to you and invite you. That's all. He's coming here! Oh my god, I have to get ready. Thanks, Tess. Thank you. All right, matchmaker successful. So I think that's where I'm going to end this for today. Oh, I didn't do the, the lucky dice thing. But uh, between this and the next episode, I'm going to do some off-screen leveling up. Like I'm going to go around and I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick all the nettles I can, see how much money I can make. You know, all the stuff I like to do. So uh, we'll pick it up after that. So see you then. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you like the content and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.